So this is it. This is the final chapter for Attack on Titan. And I don't know if I'm ready for it to be over. Like it's been a very long journey, a decade plus of buildup of storytelling of narrative building. And here we are, we're at the end, the final chapter, chapter 139 of Attack on Titan. This chapter, I'm just, yeah, so we're going to, we're going to read through it. I'm going to give my thoughts, my impressions, my review of the chapter, see how it ends the story. And, uh, yeah. So that being said, I'm Mikhail Casanova. I'm a Hawaii content creator. I host Hawaii's number one podcast, the Casanova podcast, where I interview various people in the video game, the tech industry, anime voice actors, uh, anime studio people, video game developers, content creators, celebrities, and so much more. So check it out on every major podcasting outlet and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel and follow me on social media links to everything is down here below. And, uh, with that being said, we're going to dive into the final chapter of attack on Titan chapter 139. Let's go ahead and get into it. Chapter 139. Let's, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's mosey. So, Hey, I get it. You did it for the sake of the future. You saw using the attack Titans power. But did you really have to beat me to a pulp? Why? Was needing me that important? I was so desperate to push you all away. Even I found myself wondering what I was doing. I just let the moment take over, really. Sorry. You should be saying that to Mikasa, not me. All that nonsense you spewed hurt her. Yeah, you're right. Final chapter toward the tree on that hill. I have a very somber look. It was all to push us away from you and make us into heroes who saved humanity from extinction by hunting you down. That's right. How could you not be seen as the saviors of every surviving member of society? You turned your backs on Paradis, in spite of being island devils, to stand on the side of humanity to the end. You probably have become the most respected beings in this world. So you want us to be like the Tiber family after the Great Titan War? We're supposed to protect Paradis from reprisal from humanity outside the walls? They won't be able to retaliate immediately, huh? The rumbling will kill 80% of humanity. They won't be able to wage war. Oh shit. That look of shot. Yo, the, I love how they do the lines across the face to just showcase like the dread that's in their eyes. It's, it's man, Isayama, I swear. Did you really need to go this far? Was this all for our sake? We're, where are you where we wanted to go? Let's talk as we talk. Let's talk as we walk. About our founder, Ymir. Okay, so they're walking. So I'm wondering, is this in the path? I don't know where this is taking place. So this is flaming water. It really is flowing like a river, so a volcano. How far did I get? Hmm? You said that the power of the Titans continues to exist because Ymir has been obeying King Fritz for 2,000 years. Right. He'd burn her hometown, killed her parents, and pulled out her tongue. But even when she attained godlike powers, she continued to obey him. Yo, he pulled out... What? Uh, what could have caused her to do that? When we touched at the path, I felt something. I couldn't believe it. But Ymir, the founder, loved Carl Fritz. 
What? That's what bound her for over 2,000 years. I can't claim to understand the depths of Ymir's heart, but I knew she was in agony as she yearned for freedom. For 2,000 years, she sought someone who'd release her from the agony of love. Then, someone appeared. It was Mikasa. An Aurora Borealis. Okay, so that explains what happened in that last uh, chapter panel. Huh? Did you just say Mikasa? I did. So you weren't listening after all. I was listening. Why Mikasa? Well, only Ymir knows that one. As for me, even I still don't know what Mikasa will do. The only thing I knew for sure was the result of Mikasa's choice. All of it was to arrive at that result. That's why I moved forward. I murdered four-fifths of society. I led you to kill each other on Paradise. I got all of you, my precious friends, wrapped up in this battle without even knowing if you'd survive it. That's the future you saw at the medal ceremony. You'd been all alone since then. It must have hurt. Armin, my head's gotten all messed up. The Founder's power has made it so that there's no past or future. It all exists at once. So, I had to do it. That day, that time, it wasn't Bertolt's time to die yet. What? The one who let him go and made her go that way was... Whoa. Let's go, Aaron. Yeah. So, I like the progression of time. As you can see, like, from childhood to now they're, you know, current form adults. So, what were you thinking? About who? About Mikasa? Do you think she can forget about you and live a happy life with someone else? Just like you wanted? Well, who knows? And Armin punches him. Ow! What? Who knows? I don't remember ever forgiving you. What are you thinking disregarding Mikasa's love for you like that? A woman who's always valued you, a woman who's always valued you over everything, even her own life. Do you really think you can tell her to forget about you and be done with it? She should be able to forget about the heartbreaker she loved and be happy at the very least. But who knows? Maybe she'll find someone good in no time and shrug it all off. No. Hmm? No, I don't want that. Mikasa finding another man? I want her to think about me and no one else for the rest of my life. Even after I die, I want to be at the front of her mind for a while. Ten years, at least. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't expect something like that. I didn't expect something that pathetic. Please, don't repeat that to Mikasa. I want her to be happy. I really do, but... Yeah, damn it. I don't want to die. I want to be with Mikasa, with everyone. Aaron, don't give up. We can find another way. No. I'm sure none of them wanted to die either, but how could I ever be forgiven? Oh, the results of the rumbling. Even if I didn't know that you'd stop me in the end, I think I still would have flattened this world. I'd level almost every forest, and I would have left the land covered in insects a few days later. I wanted to leave every surface a blank plain. Why? Aaron, that is your name. I, I don't know why, but I wanted to do that. I had to. Aaron, 
You are free. This Grisha. Armin, it's time. I'm erasing all of your memories of this place. Next time we meet, we'll be trying to kill one another. But you'll probably remember again once it's all over. Aaron, thank you. You became a mass murderer for our sake. I won't. I promise I won't let this error go to waste. I don't know what happens after I die, but I know you can make it to the other side of the walls. Humanity will be saved by you. Armin. Build up already? Huh? Any? So that's Falco. Okay. Alright, this is all the Titans. They're all dying. There's Armin. Now I remember. This is. This Mikasa. Armin. Armin. He turns. She's holding Aaron's head. Yo, that is powerful. Armin, you remember too now, don't you? When Aaron came to visit us. Yeah, I heard the result of your choice would make the power of the Titans vanish from the face of this world. Oh, so everyone got rev- oh, okay, so everyone got turned back. There's Jean, there's Connie, there's uh, Bitchface, and we got, you know, yeah. Now I remember, you conscientious piece of shit. Aaron, you really are a- Aaron. He said, even my mom would go back to being human. He said, for us to live long. What about you? I never asked you for this, you suicidal blockhead. Huh? Wish I could have talked to him. Annie with her dad. Welcome back. I'm home, dad. Gabby. Yeah, bitch face. Hey guys. You see that? As everyone had died. I guess this is a result of all your de devoted hearts. And then they salute. That's heavy. And he's losing. He's crying. Whoa. Okay. So wait, they're seeing them. I didn't, that didn't hit me until now. Okay. So that's Sasha. So Jean and Connie are seeing Sasha. Sasha, but she's smiling. Yo, did she just suplex him? It's Reiner and his mom. Mom, I I guess I'm not the Armored Titan anymore. Is that true? That's great. Huh? I'm sorry for everything, Reiner. This is all I ever needed. I should go. Huh? Where? If I stayed here, I doubt they'd give Aaron a proper burial. You're right. Let him rest somewhere quiet. Aaron always liked to nap there. Yeah, I think it's a good place. <sighs> oh, 
keys. Okay. Marlene soldiers. Please, Secretary Miller. Aaron Yeager is dead. The power of the Titans has vanished. We have nothing more than the people now. Can you prove that to me? Right here and now? If it's a blood test you want. Here. Now. Please, prove it. Are you people? Or are you Titans? So someone's dropping their OMD gear. Okay, it's Armin. If we did still have the power of the Titans, wouldn't we be using it to resist you? But the fact that we continue to be powerless, even as you point your guns at us, is the greatest possible proof of our humanity. Who are you? I am Armin Arliard, an Eldian from the island of Paradis. The man who killed Aaron Yeager, the attack titan. Yo, this scene right here is... Oh my god. Oh, Historia's baby. Three years have passed since the day known as the Battle of Heaven and Earth. Those who have survived after an unfathomable number of lives were taken still seem... Oh, though... <laughs> Those who survived after an unfathomable number of lives were taken still seem to be tormented by their unhealing scars. As the world suffers through loss, their fears have come true. The nation of Eldia has formed a so-called con- The nation of Eldia has formed a so-called army controlled by the Jaegerists and now focus their efforts on building their military. Fearful of retaliation from what is left of humanity on the other side of the sea, the island, the island yells out as one. If we win, we live. If we lose, we die. If we don't fight, we can't win. Fight. Fight. The Sasha's family and then the Marleyan soldier. This fight will not end until either Eldia or the world disappears. That is what Aaron said, and he may be right. Even so, he chose to leave this world in our hands. This place we now live in. A world without Titans. I never get tired of Historia's beautiful handwriting. It even smells nice. How many times do I have to tell you not to lust after a married woman, creep? You seem awfully concerned about how your hair looks yourself, G. Trying to look good for someone? For all the girls who ever open a, a history book? Don't you mean a field guide to horses? It's a damn shame you got a new lease on life, Rainer. Paradis is within sight now. Armin, do you really think this is going to work? We destroyed the walls. We betrayed the island. We killed Aaron, a man revered by the people of Eldia. And we're the allied nation's ambassadors for peace talks? Personally, I wouldn't be shocked if they sunk our ship right here. Believe in Historia. Her Majesty's first move was to protect Jean's relatives and my mom. I know she'll defend us too. Us weak little things. Annie. Conflict will never vanish. But when they see us all together like this, they'll have to want to know about our story. Why those who tried to kill one another for so long have appeared on Paradis to advocate for peace. They'll want to know what we saw. Yo, and Levi is fucked. Let's tell them everything.
Aaron, everyone will be coming to visit you soon. Aren't you happy? I want to meet you again. Oh, that bird. Thank you for wrapping the scarf around me, Aaron. Well, um, that's, uh, that's a hell of an ending. Um, not exactly what I thought would actually occur. I mean, I think we all knew that Aaron was going to die. He had to die, right? But... That was a hell of a twist to, to see that he had met with everyone and talked to them and told him what he was going to do and then wiped their memories. You know, um, I think and I understand that there are some people that are very upset. I've read that there are people upset with the ending here at this chapter in particular. Um, I think for myself, it's there are a lot of plot loops that weren't tied up honestly um that centipede thing was not really explained at all really and to say that for 2000 years the reason this is all going on and the titans and everything is existing is because ymir's love for king fritz okay then other plot threads that weren't touched on. Okay. Who is the father of that child from Historia? Was that Aaron's? So now you also have the Jaegerists. So they militarized Paradis. So it's. Mm, okay. I don't hate this ending. I don't, I do feel it's a bit weak, like the way this ends, I feel like that could have been, there, there needs to be one more chapter, to be honest. Um, I do feel like it's strange that out of nowhere, now Aaron is all of a sudden deeply in love with Mikasa and wants to spend the rest of his life with her. He wants her to only think about him for at least the next 10 years. Okay. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's really been no point within the series where he's ever really shown any interest in Mikasa. Now, granted, you could argue, you could counter argue that, hey, his pushing her away and, and being a dick to her is his way of showing that he loves her as well. But. It just seems like it's out of nowhere, honestly. Like, it really feels like they kind of pull that out of their ass. And so I'm wondering, for three years, has Mikasa has just been sitting here for three years? Like, not physically, like, literally sitting here, but, like, she's... <sighs> There's just so much that's just not explained. Right? So many plot threads are just left open. And maybe that's the intention. Maybe Isayama is leaving it open for whatever his reasons are. Maybe he just, you know, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm done. 11 years, I'm done. Right? 
um, you can speculate on everything else. And, and I get it because say he wants to go back and touch on it again. But at the same time, how can you touch on it? Because the, the, t- the Titans are done, right? But what if since Ymir resonated with Mikasa, what if Mikasa is going to bring back the Titans and the Titan powers because she wants to see Aaron again? Right? So in a way, now we can, okay, and I just, it just popped in my head. We can dive into this as well. So the love that Ymir had for King Fritz and they're kind of the dynamic of their relationship is very much similar to Eren and Mikasa. So I get that. I can understand the tangibility of Ymir vibing with, resonating with Mikasa because in essence, they are very much the same character. They are very much unyieldingly loyal and faithful and loving of a jackass being King Fritz and Aaron Yeager. So I guess in a way, and this is me speculating, I'm, I'm purely spitballing here. I guess in a way it does make sense that I guess it does make sense that Ymir was like smiling when Mikasa cut off Eren's head and kissed him, because I think that's probably what Ymir wanted to do to King Carl Fritz, but did not have the heart to do. And Mikasa was able to do what she didn't, and she resonated with that, and she was happy. But where does this leave Mikasa? She's stuck. I I cannot, honestly, truthfully speaking, I cannot see Mikasa moving on to someone else. I can't. I can't see her moving on, being happy with anyone else. Maybe Jean and her can get together. I don't, I honestly do not see that happening. Um, I, I feel like a lot of the the you know the, the the recent love angles that have been popping up with this sh- this this manga the story uh Annie and and Armin was very much out of nowhere i never well i guess it's not out of nowhere i guess you could say like they kind of built towards that and that was bound to happen but yeah um Yeah. Um, so Mikasa is the one that kills him. And I'm just processing this. So. I'm trying to, sorry, I apologize for my frustration right now because I'm trying to process the point of all of this because it, Armin's statement to Annie at the end that the conflict will not end makes this entire thing seem pointless. The entire story to seem pointless. Okay. The Jaegerists took over. They're militaristic now, right? They look like the fucking Third Reich. So now are they a threat? And now the world wants to do peace and there's, a, the, you know, the emissaries of the main characters that are remaining. Um, and now his just, oh God, I, who is Historia's baby daddy? Who is she married to? Who is this person? Was that? Was that Aaron? Was it Aaron? I just, I'm, look, let, let me go back and 
let me go back and look. Let, let's 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 hop back in here. Let's go look. Let's go look. Scroll, scroll. We we I I just I've got questions. Okay. Okay, look at this parallel. Maybe I'm reading too fucking deep into this, right? Okay, so you got Mikasa and Aaron, right? Look at how the heads are being held. So three, right? So it's three candles. We go all the way down here. And there's three roses. So is this kid Aaron's? I'm strongly of the belief Aaron impregnated her. And I feel like he did that. I could be wrong. Again, I'm spitballing here because I don't know. I feel like he did that because he wanted to live on, right? He wanted because he even says it. We scroll up further. Like Where is it? He. Yeah, he says it here. I don't want to die. I want to be with Mikasa with everyone. So. Is he effectively, is this like that David Bowie song? Is he effectively the man that sold the world? I don't know. I'm just. And then like when we go here, so apparently I guess the ghosts of everyone who died are being shown. So everyone who turned into a Titan, so the Titan powers are fully removed, right? Including bitch faces. So um, everything's gone, right? So right now, I'm thinking this is just Levi imagining this, but these are the spirits of those who died. They're back and they salute him. And Sasha comes back. So I got questions. I got too many questions and I don't have answers and it's frustrating to me. Um, I may need to do a whole separate video where I'm just going to dive into my thoughts of this and some possible theories. Uh, yeah, I. I feel some kind of way about this ending because I feel like nothing was really answered. And I feel like this is kind of like, a, oh, yeah, in the end, I did this all for you guys. I love Mikasa. I love you all. And I saw it back at the ceremony and I needed to find a way to stop it. So I effectively had to become the villain. <sighs> Anyways, um, that was chapter uh, 139, Attack on Titan. What do you guys think about it? Post your comments below. Give me your thoughts, your feelings, raw emotions, your theories. I just want to know it all. Let's get this conversation going. And if you want to take the conversation further, hop into Discord. We have an amazing Discord community. Various people from the gaming industry, tech industry, content creators, voice actors, even voice actors for this, you know, for the anime and then more. So um, feel free to hop in. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still wrapping my head around this whole thing. If you haven't already, you've stuck with me this far, sub to the channel, hit the like button, ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. And if you're looking for streams, I do stream every single week on twitch.tv slash Mikel Casanova to catch me over there. And, uh, yeah, I got a podcast, Hawaii's number one podcast, the Casanova podcast. I know my whole outro is thrown off by this this chapter anyway 
uh, the Casanova Podcast, number one podcast in Hawaii, where I interview various people in the gaming industry, tech industry, voice actors, celebrities, content creators, and so much more. Check us out every major platform for podcasting, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Apple Music, and such. Or well, Amazon Music, rather. And uh, yeah, links for that down below. So with that being said, I'm Mikhail Casanova. Hawaii content creator. I'm signing out. Hope to catch y'all in the next one. Deuces wow. Too sweet. Be the elite. <sighs> the fucking chapter. I'm a mix of emotions. I'm confused, conflicted, upset, let down, disappointed, and happy and ended. Anyway, I catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate your support by those of you who like the videos, who watch and who subscribe. And for those of you who are my Patreon supporters, thank you for your continued support because you help make this possible. If you enjoy my work and you'd like to support what we do, we do have Patreon on patreon.com slash Mikhail Casanova. We also have coffee as well as subscribe star. So there's various methods if you want to support the work that we do here. We also have channel membership so make sure you check that out that way you get up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes here and first and exclusive content as well and if you enjoy the work that i do and you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel so with that being said Mikhail casanova hawaii content creator i hope to see you on the next one if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell and all that being said i'll see you on the next one peace